Good morning, everyone. It's Wendy. I am making some veggie marinara sauce to have over pasta for lunch today. And I'm gonna use my deluxe cooking blender and I wanted to show you how easy this is. So this is like not even cooking. You don't have to stir the pot. You don't have to watch the flame. It does all the work for you when you throw everything in the blender. So I am going to start with a quarter cup of water. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of Italian seasoning mix, two half tablespoons and I'm just using the Pampered Chef Italian seasoning. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. Again, I'm using the seasoning salt. I love the seasoning salt. Good morning, Mom. And I'm going to add four peeled garlic cloves. Of course, you don't have to press them or chop them or anything. And I'm using my garlic peeler. So you just take your clove that has the peel on it, stick it in the silicone tube and you roll and you'll hear the crack. And then you just, the peel just comes right off. Well, maybe not this one. What is going on here? There we go. So there's my clove. We'll do one more. I don't know why that one didn't stick. You have to kind of shake the peel out of the tube because it sticks to the inside and then that helps pull it off of the garlic clove. That's a good crack. And you can see when you get that good crack, it works really well. All right, so we're gonna throw our all four garlic cloves. I did two before I jumped on, so I have four. I'm gonna drop those in and then I'm going to add one cup of carrots so I already peeled and chopped those up they don't need to be small just one inch cubes is fine oh. <laughs> alrighty I guess I have to get some more carrots because they also went all over the floor and the last thing that goes in here is some zucchini. We're gonna dump that in. So um, peeled and sliced, one small zucchini, that's from my garden, so I just use the frozen. And I'm gonna show you how to turn the blender on and get it going. The last thing is a can of diced tomatoes, which you do the puree, the heated puree setting, and it gives you an add-on. So when it's ready to be added in, since these are already cooked, you don't have to cook them for the entire time. So the tomatoes get added in when the blender beeps at you, but it does all the work by itself, lets you know when it's time, and then you just put the tomatoes in and then continue the cycle. So to get this started, you just put the lid on, close it up, and then just turn the knob to heated puree and press the start button, and you're all set to go. So I'm gonna go peel some more carrots and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.